I'm busy at heart. You know, if someone said to me, do you want a full English breakfast or do you want chole puture? Which one would you pick? It's yeah. got to be chole puture, right? Oh. Show us one Bangra move. Point in the aeroplane. <laughs> that one, like that. And then this one, you screw the light bulb and you have to fix it and then pat the dog. <laughs> Sardar but plays for the team of England. India loves him but hated him when he took the wicket down of Tendulkar. This time around on the Legends, we are meeting Monty Penesa. Let's go. Hi, so nice to meet you. You know, we in India are so proud of you. You're being an Indian, playing in the England team. I want to know when you play against India, who are your parents supporting? Oh, my parents are supporting, obviously, England. Okay. <laughs> and because I'm, you know, playing in the team and they absolutely love it. You know, yeah. watching me play and like when I came to India, in India, people were sort of saying, oh, it felt like he was like, uh, you know, our son playing for England. You know, yeah. the, everyone in India felt so proud, you know, it was such a proud moment for Indians, you know, and I couldn't believe the love and the support I got from India. It was just incredible. Yeah, but when you get, got Tendulkar out, they were a bit upset about it, weren't they? Yeah, they were a little <laughs> bit upset. I reckon 20% of the world population hated me at that moment. And I yeah. obviously was celebrating off I went, you know, yeah. running towards point in disbelief. Couldn't believe I got, you know, probably the greatest sportsman out ever. But yeah. I, I suppose now reflecting back, probably the disbelief. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, have I really got, you know, Tendulkar out? <laughs> But also, it's probably celebrating his greatness. Yeah. You know? And that's why I always say to Sachin, you know, Paji, I say, thank, thank you for being so great. You gave me such a wonderful moment in life. So, yeah, yeah he was a brilliant, brilliant player. So, you were born in London? Yeah. Yeah, but can you speak in Hindi? Have you been in Hindi? Yes, in Hindi. I and Punjabi is good. Yes, Punjabi is good. Okay. You know, I've seen Indian kids born outside of India. Parents are very conscious of putting in or imbibing the Indian cultures in them. Did that happen to you? When growing up, if I needed something, I yeah. would speak in a nice, polite Punjabi manner to my parents. <laughs> and then when I, don't, when I don't want them to be near me, I'll speak in English. So I kind of use the both languages to my advantage. <laughs> Have they given you any pet names? Because Punjabi parents are known to do that. Yeah, look, my nickname was obviously Monty. Okay. Yeah, so I remember in 2006, a lot of pets were named after, after me. I suppose when you you know, under 12s, when people asked for my real name, it was like Madhusudan, oh. which is very difficult to pronounce. Yeah, not yeah. for Indians. Not for yeah. Indians, yeah, for but maybe, yeah, yeah, in England. So they go, do you have a nickname? I go, yes, Monty. Oh, and that okay. was it, it stuck yeah. after that. You know, in India, we all love cricket. Yeah. And uh, I would say all the kids, they have that dream or ambition to be a cricketer. How did your dream come about to become a cricketer? Were you taking inspiration from Indian cricketers or was it the England or the British cricketers? Well, actually, growing up as a 10, 11 year old, I was quite chubby. You know, being okay. a Punjabi kid, we, you know, obviously yeah. love our food. My dad goes, look, you, you're, you're putting on weight, go and play cricket on a Sunday. I used to hate it. Honestly, I'll be honest with you. I used to hate training Sunday mornings. I didn't want to go and do my two laps, yeah. trying to lose weight. And then gradually, you know, he, he, he saw some natural ability in me, you know, the yeah. coaches. And I remember watching Wazi Makram. I thought I want to be a left arm seamer, just like Wazi Makram, until I got the age of 15 where Paul Taylor from North Ants said, look, Monty, I don't think you're going to get any quicker. And he goes, you should try left arm spin. You've got long fingers, quite big shoulders. And next game I went and I took seven for 35. And I went back to Paul Taylor. I go, look, it's the first time I took five wickets in a match. He goes, you should always see you know, a bowl left arm spin. So, you know, like wow. moments in life, you know, you, you, I, I remember, you know, Shah Rukh Khan saying, talent takes you so much so yeah, far. Yeah. It's meeting people at the right time at the right place. Absolutely. So Paul Taylor was that guy for me. He go, I could have gone right and try and become Wazi Makram all my life. I probably would have played club cricket, but I went left and yeah. I became a left arm spinner. So for me, people say, do you believe in God? Yes, I do. Paul Taylor, he's my Messiah of cricket. Quite an inspirational story, I have to say. And glad to know that you know a bit about Bollywood as well. You named Shah Rukh Khan. What about other actors or films? Do you have favorites that yeah. you follow Indian cinema? Well, well I've, I, I watch obviously Big Boss. Uh, oh. it's, it's in the UK, I think a lot of people love it. Oh, is it And okay? uh, Weekend Verdict, I think it is. Um, what is it? Weekend Cover Chart, okay. when Salman Khan does it. Yeah. Oh, we love it. Honestly, he's brilliant at how yeah. he... Character assassination. And then he did absolutely tears everyone apart. 
but he in between mm. that he relates it to life and he gives you these life lessons yeah and it's i think it's brilliant how he like analyzes it all and that becomes an addiction but yeah you talked about bollywood watched many movies uh, i think it started off with bazigar yeah. as a youngster and then went to border then went to virzara got a bit romantic emotional and then it was you know a bit of comedy three idiots then we went to kabhi khushi kabhi gum wow <laughs> then we got what the bang you know because it's obviously salman khan yeah. why not yeah monday it's very heartwarming to know that you are truly desi at heart huh? yeah absolutely yeah. <laughs> i'm desi at heart you know if someone said to me do you want a full english breakfast or do you want chole puturi which one would you pick it's yeah. got to be chole puturi right oh <laughs> so what does sunday brunch at home look like what is it that the food that really touches your heart and soul well this is a thing because me and my brother we're like gym buddies now so we have inspiration we look at the rock okay. and he has cheat days yeah. we have the same cheat day as he does on a sunday okay. and he has his pancakes with maple syrup everywhere yeah we have our aloo parathas thingy <laughs> with butter everywhere that's our cheat day for sunday yeah i want to know how easy or difficult was it for an indian or an indian origin person to be a part of england's cricket team i'm sure there's a lot of prejudice there may be some biases and i would like you to clear the air is it you know there is always some sort of uh, reluctance i would say for anybody from a different nationality or was there not please please tell us yeah like i think i think that's a really good question like growing up my parents obviously wanted to follow the sikh religion the tradition the values of it and one of the values through my you know young sikh friends said yeah. was celebrate your small goals celebrate your big goals celebrate yeah. your exam results celebrate your wickets yeah and then that's where it's you know that was installed in me to celebrate every moment in life because then the body gets used to that the body wants more of it and you're trying to you know when you're chasing success so when i took tandulkar's wicket it was that moment of time like my mates and everyone said celebrate your success because that's part of sikhism you know it's to yeah. celebrate but i didn't realize that the fans and the world of cricket would catch on to my celebrations and remember andrew flintoff saying monty monty mania has started back home i didn't know what it was until i got to lords full packed house 30 40000 people and the ball got thrown to me and the crowd absolutely erupted and it was just the best experience in the world so like you know people obviously say that you look at lewis hamilton anthony joshua myself we go into a room with full of other celebrities people are going to recognize who we are right yeah. so we're going to get treated differently but then since i did my journalism degree at st mary's university they sort of they test you don't they they they, they go a bit deeper you have more debates they tell you and make you understand about the you know the difficulties maybe 100 years ago yeah that people had you know the color of your skin you weren't plan- allowed to play for your country for example so then when you look look at it that way I, i feel very lucky very fortunate you know that right time right place got on the india tour all the indians absolutely love me <laughs> for just being indian <laughs> yeah. right and being this see and the english people love me before being myself being monty so it, I, i've i've received a lot of love from cricket monitor so there's one more thing in common now i've also done a journalism degree oh wow yeah <laughs> jeez we were not be on the same panel at some point on the tv show we could end up uh, you know uh, pulling each other's hair off absolutely <laughs> did you pursue any other career except cricket before that or just straight well i did a degree in computing and management okay and 2005 it was my last year of my contract at northants okay and i was thinking i don't know if i'm going to make it as a cricketer but then last eight games i took 50 wickets Kepler Vessel said look Monty you're looking a bit big for a cricketer like what you know I used to love bodybuilding lifting weights yeah so I went to Adelaide trying to reduce my body size and the next thing you know in January I got a call up to play for England so I start to take it very seriously yeah fitness and everything like that where in India are your parents from that's born in Gujarat my mom's born in Uttar Pradesh okay and my granddad now is in Ludhiana Punjab Oh. So there you go. You can see yeah. why the Indians love me, right? Absolutely. I got a bit of everything. I got a bit of Punjabi, but Gujarati and a bit of Uttar Pradesh. So do you visit India often? Yeah, I do. Obviously, maybe once once a year or every couple of years, yeah. especially with the World Cup coming Absolutely. and obviously the IPL. So yeah, I'm sure there'll be uh, a lot of opportunities. Have you made friends in other teams and do you have any if you can share a few names with us? I'm good friends obviously with Harpajan Singh. The other day we were doing some good Bhangra dance. Oh, that boy he can dance. Yeah. Jesus. I was like, wow, well, we need to we this I never saw you dance like this, mate. We need to get a few Bhangra tunes on. He's brilliant what, dancer. What about you? Do you know Bhangra moves? Yeah, or yeah, no? I I, I copied I looked at him for 5 10 minutes and I thought, right, I'm getting stuck in as well. And then she was one Bhangra move. Which one is it? Well, I'll give you a simple one, right? Yeah, like sure. um, this one like pointing the aeroplane. <laughs> that one. 
like that. And then this one, you screw the light bulb and you have to fix it and then pat the dog. This is how I explain it. Nice this, lessons coming in This is how I was explaining it to the England teammates. Because every time we won a test match, they go, Monty, we need a Pangara dance now. We used to put a Pangara tune on and then everyone used to dance and I used to teach them this way. Because guys, it's time to screw the light bulb and now pat the dog. And they used to absolutely love it. Is that what happens in the dressing room? Yes. Every time? Yeah. This is what used to happen. Every test win that I played for England, we used to have a Pangara dance. That's amazing. And that's how I taught them Pangara. You right? should start a YouTube channel on this. I should. Simple ways of learning Pangara yes, dance. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I want to know something about the team members as well. Yeah. Okay, we're going to play a fun game which is called Who's Who. I'm going to name a few animals. Yeah. You've got to tell me which cricketer represents okay. that particular animal. Or not. Okay. Yeah. To begin with, shark. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I think speed. Yeah. Speed, Britley. A wolf. That's me. Hairy, I'm hairy as a wolf. <laughs> Nobody thought about it like that. I was thinking of somebody who leads the pack. Okay. But that's a good one. Yeah. Okay, elephant. Miss Bahal, I reckon. He's, he's a natural leader. And finally, a tiger. Somebody who's royal, courageous, confident and yet yeah. composed. Yeah, Harpajan Singh. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> so let's talk about Bollywood then. We've spoken okay. a lot about cricket. Yeah. I want to know if you could star in a Bollywood movie. Okay. Yeah. Who would be your dream co-star? Salman Khan. Really? Yeah, I don't know why I'm a big fan of his. Okay. It's, it's because he's not he's not the best dancer. Yeah. But he's a great actor. He's got yeah. a really good voice. Yeah. Yeah, command on his voice. Can you act out a scene from your favorite Bollywood movie? And Jeez. we'll guess which movie it is. You give me a dialogue and I'll copy it. Uh, that's probably easier. Bade bade shehro mein choti choti baatein hoti rehti Yeah, that's easy. Oh. Okay. Bade bade shehro mein choti choti baatein baatein hoti hain. Senorita? Senorita. Yeah. Oh, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> Shah Rukh Khan and DDLG. Yes. Not bad. Yes. <laughs> We're going to know about your locker room conversations as well. All right. Okay. So who is the most entertaining person inside the locker room? Tino Best. If he's got a problem yeah. with his calf or his shoulder, everyone has to know about it. <laughs> it's like, why are you telling everyone? It's like, he's, everyone knows. Everyone he knows. wants sympathy? Yeah, he, 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 he loves sympathy. Do you all gossip about your coach inside the locker room? Yeah, sometimes as a coach, is, you know, got fitness training, yeah. right? Diet, you got to look, I was like, oh gosh, you know, <laughs> gosh, you have to be a yes boy now to get in the team. Do you know what I mean? I've got to do my fitness sessions. <laughs> Who's the one giving pep talk all the time? Probably uh, the captain, the yeah. coach, uh, Shane Watson, obviously. In this environment, there's not many that give, you know, that invite. Pep. It's on the field, maybe. Yeah. Brett Lee, he gets the team together when yeah. he needs to. Okay, music that you listen to before every match. Is there one? Robbie Williams, Angels. Yeah. Oasis, <laughs> Wonderwall, George Michael, Jesus to your child, Sidhu mm. Musewal, Dollar, Salman Khan, Sarjan, all the Sarjan tracks. Dekha hai pehli bar Sarjan mein aakho ka pyar. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Then That's Jug, really Jug, Jug Jumia. Yeah. That one. That's a long playlist that you yeah. have. Yeah. <laughs> I do sit there for about 45 minutes and go through it all. Yeah? yeah, you like to be with yourself before every match. Just like listening to the music. Okay, I was talking to her Bajan yesterday yeah. and uh, just discussing about how uh, the Sikh community is always very, very religious and to do seva comes very naturally to them visiting yeah. Gurdwara, doing the langar service. Is that something that you've done as well as a child? Yeah, like well, I remember when we used to, when used to be at school, you know, when you have uh, Puran Mashi. Yes. Um, we had to leave at half three because we go to the one in Coventry. Yeah. And they go, why do you go at half three on every full moon? Because we go to Puran Mashi. And that was our, that was the way our parents, my mom and dad, kept us connected with the religion. And we used to go there and then do the seva, do the langar and everything like that. So that became very normal for us, you know, growing up. The Sikh community are always out there to help people because we're, we're taught that way, you know. You know, to be a good human being first is to help others to do seva. So, like, you don't have to, like, if you can't follow the strict discipline way of religion, because I'm not very religious, but I try and just follow the things that help my parents will say, Jolo, at least, you know, it can do the basic things about Sikhi and you know yeah. something about it. So, um, you know, I don't know anything about reli Sikh religion that much, but I know Seva is part of our value system and we find it very easy to do. Absolutely. Before we let you go, any favourite cricketers that you would like to name? Somebody who is playing currently? Oh, Ben Stokes. Okay. Absolutely love Ben Stokes. 
Verinda Jadeja, how can I not mention him? Left arm spinners, mate. We stick together. James Anderson, he's my favorite. Yeah. Under 19s, we played together and he's still going strong. Yeah. Virat Kohli, yeah. you know, yeah, I, I think I, I, I'm enjoying the fact how he's not chasing hundreds, but he's yeah. happy. It's okay. Yes. If I don't score the runs, it's all right. If I score the runs, it's okay. Just keep contributing towards Team India winning. Where else can we see you? What more can we expect from you? Yeah, there's, there's a lot more happening, um, you know, hopefully in the IPL maybe. Um, do some media work. Um, yeah. Where else? We've got like a lot of Summer World Cup happening in India. We've got the 100, you know, um, obviously developing my broadcasting career. And, oh, I don't know, maybe maybe star in a movie with Salman Khan. Oh, we're mean? looking forward to I'll that. I'll be the villain. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, look, and I'm going out and I'm trying to find him. Where is he? <laughs> That's a good one. We yeah. look forward to seeing you in Bollywood very, very soon. We'll call soon. it the full Monty. <laughs> Thank you so Thanks much, Monty. It was wonderful talking to Cheers. you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure.